Welcome to another video and thank you once again for joining. I have received a request to redo the set that I've done previously, but I will tell you more about it as we go. I got these foils from Sheen a while ago. We have showcased it in my video for the part 2 of Sheen that I've received. But I decided to take out two different ones for today's tutorial. We're going to try and recreate what we've done previously. And then I did show you previously that I don't just guard off my tubes where you get your brushes in. This is what I use to showcase my nails. This is the double sided tape that you will use for your press on sets. So instead of using press stick or sticky tag, I decided to use a piece of this tape onto this holder to showcase my nails. And once you're done, you can cover it up again before you put it away. And you can always replace it when the need be. So to start off with our design, we're just going to place our tips upside down onto the nail stands. As we're going to start working on the inside, like you would do with a lazy curl method. We're just going to start off by applying a layer of no wipe top coat. But we're not going to cure at this point as we're going to work with the wet layer before we cure. So we're just going to apply our top coat in the inside of the nail and then just leave it aside without curing and then for the next step I'll show you what you could use these would be fine snippets of angel paper or aurora paper that are mixed with some glitters some fine letters and some pieces of paper you get some different types and different colors and if you do have some angel paper in your between your foils you can also cut that up in little snippets i've previously ordered um, this little container that's consisting of a lot of colors of Aurora paper or angel paper that you can also make use of that you can use on the underside of the nail but we're not going to work with these today you can also get these in smaller little pots that are mixed with some glitters and some fine pieces of paper and you get them in different colors you can apply these on the underside of the nail or on top of the nail for your designs i just took out a few different colors to show you So we're going to make use of this white one that I've used previously and we're just going to start applying that onto the wet top coat that we've just applied by just placing it randomly on the underside of the nail onto the wet top coat. And while we add it, I'm just going to have to apologize for my lightning. I've moved my table because I was cleaning out my nail room yesterday. And I had to unplug all the lightning and all the plaques all around my desk in order to clean properly. So I've done some dusting and I've cleaned all my polish racks, cleaning all the bottles, having to move things around again. So I'm just going to have to do a test again and try and fix it again. And once you're happy with the application of your glitters, 
we're just going to cure that for 30 seconds again and then I'm just going to apply a few drops of the top coat onto my palette and once the nail's been cured we're just going to add a few drops on the underside again on top of the glitters that we have applied to give it the illusion of some water drops so we're just going to place it here and there or randomly and then you can turn it around and see if you're happy with your application and once we're done applying our water drops we're going to cure again for 60 seconds Once we're done curing our water drops, this is what it will look like. And then we're going to turn around to our nail tips again. And then we're going to carry on with our design on top of the nails. So I'm just going to start off by using an adhesive for the foils that we're going to apply. I'm just applying a thin layer. And then we're just going to keep it aside to air dry. And once it's dry, it will be clear again. And once clear, it will be ready to apply our nail foils. And sometimes the images are too far apart then I like to cut the images out and then you can place them whichever way you like or there might be certain images that you don't want to use So I'm just trying to decide which images I want to use and then we're going to cut those out. And as for this foil, the images are not too far apart. So we're just going to use it as is and just cut the piece that we're going to need for our nail. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to give you a bit more insight about this design. I created this design for the Nail Life on Facebook, for the mood board, for the first day of summer. The owner of the page is Jessica from Jessica's Nail Studio. Then we've got our admin lady, Katie from Katie Cat Nails. And our moderated Nails by Deep. But I will leave all the details in my description box if you would like to join us. There are a lot of fun activities currently being held in the night life. We've got bingo, we've got some workshops and then we've got a freestyle Saturday 
where we just get together onto the chat. And then we've got the Selena Rider nail cards that are getting drawn. I think it's once a month. These are just a few of the fun activities that I've mentioned. But if you would like to become part of our group and just have some fun and learning at the same time, you can just contact Jessica or Katie who will guide you of how to go about it to become part of the group. And I think I did mention that this design was for one of the mood boards that we do I think once a month. So you can see I'm just been placing all the pieces where I think or want them to be. And then we just smooth it out properly to get rid of all the wrinkles. And like I said, once I'm done with this recording, I'm going to have to try and sort out my lightning again. Moving around a few things again. And then once again, place a marker on my desk. That will indicate where I need to be when I'm doing my recording. To prevent me from going out of frame. Because that happens quite often. And I think a lot of the creators can relate with that. And while cleaning my nail room yesterday, I also decided to build a separate rack with a lot of the nail supplies that I got recently. Some new things that one would like to try out. Because once you put it away, it's out of sight and out of mind. And you intend to forget about it when you want to do a design. So I decided to fill this rack up with some of the supplies that I haven't used a lot or haven't used at all or some of the new things that every time I want to plan a design that I will refer to this rack. This would also give me an indication of what I would like to try out when I plan my designs for the week and then I've got all the supplies handy. And it might also give me some ideas to try some new things and it might, might also help me to come up with some new and fresh ideas and now that we've applied our foils we're just going to go in with a thin layer of a color just to give it a little bit more texture or a little bit more color and these are the colors that I've been playing with they are translucent or jelly colors. 
So you can just decide what colors you would like to play with. And then we're just going to start adding a little bit of color on the sides or on the free edges. So I'm just going to start off by dabbing some of the colors or a little bit of the color onto the palette. And then we're going to use our liner brush or just one of your detailer brushes. And then we're just going to start adding it onto the free edge. It doesn't have to be too accurate. It can be a little bit messy if you like. Once we've applied our color, we're just going to cure for 60 seconds. And then we're gonna while we clear our color, we're just gonna keep aside a little bit of top cut onto the palette. But we're just gonna keep that aside for now. And now we're gonna apply our top coat and cure for 60 seconds. Then I wanted to add more drops, but decided to cure the top coat first before we're going to apply some more drops. And once we've cured our top coat for 60 seconds, we're just going to go in with a few more drops on top of our design and then we're going to cure again for 60 seconds. Now that we've completed our design, we're just going to add it to the others. And 
and this would be the outcome of our design. I'm just trying my best to try and show it off with my lightning knots the way it's supposed to be. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and followed along and that you would give it a try. Thank you for joining once again. Keep well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.